Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to a timeless pick a card reading. Today we're going to take a look at the message, what does Venus want you to know? So we've got the Vedic Astrology deck, we will draw from the 12 Venus cards, aren't they incredibly bright? When I relaunch these I will lighten the colour a little bit, I think it's too strong. I will get there on the colour, it, it's a, uh, yeah, I, I love them, I, I, I'm happy, but you know, I think we can maybe knock it back a little bit, let's see. Uh, so I'll be choosing one of these per group, because it's Venus, so we're going to have one of these, I also thought we should work with some beautiful decks, and I've got my Flower Medicine Oracle deck out today, I've also got the Animal Spirit Tarot, because Venus is very much about worth, it's about self-worth, it's about how we feel inside and I thought the animal deck could be quite good because we can see, check in and see well how are you feeling, what kind of, you know, what, have you, what are your courage levels like or you know, do you feel like you need some time to hide away or what is it, you know, the animal deck could be really good for that. I've also got my very beautiful, what's this, the um, Tarot of Mystical Moments. Uh, this is a really gorgeous deck. Oh wow, we've got the Ten of Cups there. Yeah, beautiful. So we'll draw from here. And yeah, Venus, Lords, let's see. Now she Lords the second house, the seventh house. She is, well, she Lords Taurus, she Lords Libra. So it's a lot about beauty, art. Uh, it's about the marketplace. It's about exchange. It's about worth. It's about evaluating things, right? So Venus can be quite mathematical as well. Speaking of mathematical things, we've got nine quotes in the jar today. These are taken from, now let's see, in a, so in a bigger box I had something like 30 odd quotes from Chuck Spezzano's book. And this one is, I think it's Vital Lessons in Relationships. And this is perfect because we've got Venus here. In the coming weeks, what I'll do is I'll add more to that box now because it's starting to run out of quotes and I'll add some more like manifestation type stuff, Stuart Wilde, perhaps some uh, Neville Goddard, things like that. So yeah, we're going to have a lot more in the jar. The other thing I wanted to let you all know is that I am selling these decks on my website so you can take a look. This is the inner planets of Vedic Astrology. So yes, you'll get Venus in here. You'll also get the Sun, Moon and Mercury and we've got Stoic Tarot and I'm discounting the price even more. Uh, and I'll also throw in like a three card mini reading handwritten on paper just for you. So if you'd like to come to the website and take a look, you can pick up an absolute bargain of a deck. And I think that was about it. That was all I had for the intro this time. So feel free to choose from group one, group two or group three and I'll see you in your reading. Hi there group number one. If you chose group number one then you are in the right place. Before we draw from these we will take one of these beautiful flower oracle cards and we are going to see what Venus would like to say to you. Today I was selecting, I was looking for yeah, what are the most beautiful decks I have and I've got quite a few now but I've put half of them in a box and I think I'm going to ship them today. It's going to take a couple of months to get over to England but there we have it. The process has begun. See what comes here. Okay, that one wants to be here. We'll take one of these and then one tarot as well, and then we can clarify with your lovely deck that you've chosen. This is the Animal Spirit deck, see what animal comes through. How are you feeling at this time? What's your, yeah, like what's your confidence like at this time or 
Um, what else? I don't know. Animal spirit energy. There's also like all these animals are different sizes. Some of them can fly. It's pretty interesting. <laughs> I need to read the guidebook on this a bit more. Study up. Oh, there's two. <gasps> We'll put it back <laughs> it's just about you <laughs> just about you we're not going to do sometimes i like to use the animal spirit to do like you and the other person that's quite fun but this is just about you so we'll take one okay and then we'll take one of these oh yeah we have to see what venus has to say all right now i think this is the page if i've got that right and pages are children right but i mean this deck is incredible because they've drawn him with a beard <laughs> so this is a very grown-up child here but um let's take a look let's see what that's about so it's interesting this wanted to be seen first so you're embarking on some new adventure possibly or there's you know there's fire there's passion there's excitement in your life for something new for a new avenue new adventure new creativity this could be as well uh let's let's see what venus has to say first all right let's take this one it's popping out venus in the sixth yeah this is this is something to do with work possibly oh interesting this is um you could class this as a debilitated Venus. Yeah, Venus in Virgo, right? Venus in the sixth. It's funny because I do talk about this in the upcoming Masters episode, which I have to edit uh, today. So we've got here, excels as a lawyer, doctor, vet, doesn't have enemies, but will have conflicts in marriage, work, or family. Highly intelligent with good friends. Okay, fantastic. So yeah, that's great. All right. So I'm seeing straight away that you're, we're kind of work focused here uh some new spark some new excitement creativity ideas a new path to pursue a new project let's save this let's see what's here first <laughs> let's go for this oh fantastic strength yes gladiolus gosh isn't that beautiful and we've got this wonderful Venus type of pink color here. Venus is also very much, the color is white, actually. If you want to honor Venus, white is definitely the color. Um, and also diamonds, right? They say diamonds are a girl's best friend, and that is very true. Okay, so gladiolus, let's take a look, strength. That's very true, that's astrologically very true. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. Uh, okay, let's have a look. Strength. The tall, straight gladiolus is not broken by life's challenges. Also represents strength of character. Fantastic. So perhaps, and there could be, maybe you're having to deal with some kind of challenge at work, in the workplace at the moment, but it looks to me like you're being really strong and you're doing great. All right, yeah, five of swords. There we go. There is some form of conflict okay there's some form of conflict that you are having to deal with possibly at work this could be some kind of shadowy boss type figure something along these lines we'll investigate a bit further oh the raccoon oh how cool this is great there's this guy's channel that i watch he's in america and um, he's got all these raccoons that he feeds yeah, it's, it's probably not the best channel actually because he's feeding them like these, it's the wrong food for them. And they've all, all these little raccoons are really they're tiny, but they've expanded. Like it's, it's actually a bit of a health hazard going on there. But I do watch the channel sometimes. <laughs> um, interesting. Sixth house. Hmm. Raccoon. I originally chose the animal spirit to look at your confidence levels to see where your confidence is. This could, this is going to sound weird, but I am getting it sort of linked to do with diet as well and the physical body. So it might be that you might want to clean up your diet actually because um, 
I was talking about the American guy who's feeding these raccoons and but he's feeding them the wrong food and yeah they look really cute but like <laughs> yeah he should be feeding them more raccoon like food um mm, interesting okay I think that's a bit of a side issue in terms of what's going on here that doesn't often come up diet stuff doesn't often come up in a pick a card reading but we do have like venus in the sixth can be can you know sometimes like planets in the sixth house uh we heal through food or we heal through herbal medicine and things like that this can be a bit of a thing a lot of great um herbalists come out of here and this is we've got doctors as well these are the people who, yeah, they know, okay, take this chemical and you will feel good, right? So some of that coming through. All right. Well, so we've got the raccoon here. And it, I mean, if we look at the picture here, we can see that he is a bit hidden. We've got some kind of shadowy stuff going on here. But is that you? Are you hiding? Let's ask that as a clarification question. What's hidden from your view? What's maybe we should ask what's hidden from your view? Or let's be specific. Are you hiding? Let's ask, are you hiding from something? Or someone? Let's ask about that. Seven of Swords. That is quite fascinating actually, because this is a card of deception, right? And I did ask the question, didn't I? Are you hiding? So I'm kind of getting, I'd say a bit of a yes here. We do have the workplace here. This could be about you needing to share your gifts, shine a bit more, be seen. Okay, so let's ask about that. Do you need to be, let's see, do you need to Something about your gifts, gifts, talents, strengths, sharing. Okay, we're in the sixth house here and the sixth house is competition. And sometimes shining and sharing our gifts, that's not good because sometimes we attract um, negativity, we attract people who don't like us, people who are jealous of, of us, competition, this kind of thing. So let's go down this pathway should you be shining your gifts at this time maybe you shouldn't be let's see maybe there's great purpose and reason for you to be a bit hidden so let's see any more information about shining or sharing our gifts wow i think that's the sun isn't it hang on let's have a look here yes that is that's definitely the sun okay so the sun has come out it's saying and I think this is kind of saying that no matter how hidden you remain, you can't help but shine and the right people will see you. So I kind of feel like you don't have to worry because the right people will get what you're all about. They will see you. They will understand. Okay. Any other guidance? Let's just ask a really general guidance question. Any other guidance? Whoa, tower. Okay, interesting. So you are going through a period of change and transformation and i think that's why the strength card has appeared here yes okay so how are you doing with this change and transformation and what is this new spark this new thing that you've got going on let's take one of these there's no venus in here but there's everybody else. <laughs> so see what comes. So I want to know about this strength of character. I want to know about, because look, you do shine and to the right people you shine. Don't worry if at work they don't get it or some, there's some people around you who don't get it. 
wow, she's kind of hiding too. She's not showing her full face. I mean, we don't see him at all. Let's not go there. Let's see, <laughs> Let's see what this is. Because there's something very beautiful here. There's some new beginning. Okay, what's the new beginning? Let's see what the new beginning is. Because we could just get caught up in all this stuff and keep drawing cards and keep drawing cards and, and, and sometimes keep going nowhere. You know, what are we building? What's new? What's exciting? You know, where can you be putting your energy at this time in an avenue that's going to bring you rewards, results? What's, you know, what's good? What's growing? What's growing? Wow, moon in the fifth. Fantastic. Oh, this is beautiful. Happiness from children, acquires jewels and properties. Native is honest, noble, learned, spiritual. Child may be famous, talented artist, abundant emotionally. Fantastic. And this is also what you create and what you give birth to will be famous. Okay, so if you don't have children, it could be what you create, what you come up with. That thing could go on to be amazing. So there's some, this is to do with your creativity. And I, I kind of feel like at this time, what's going to be really wonderful for you is to, yes, continue being strong. You are going through a massive transformation. Okay, this does feel ongoing. There is conflict at work. Okay, that's twice here. We've got Venus in Virgo. We've got five of swords conflict at work um, and you might have had to have covered up a little bit maybe you can't shine at work because it'll irritate others sometimes that stuff gets political like you can't be your full self you can't shine fully because it'll annoy someone or you know and uh, yeah all that so maybe you have to cover up a little bit or be a bit shadowy or, or not be your full self but then there is, there's this path that is you, that is your creativity, that is your thing that you want to contribute to the world. And we're getting massive encouragement, green lights, do it, it's going to be famous, it's going to succeed. You're going to get a, a lot of happiness from your creativity at this time. So finding the time and the strength to be creative, to do your own thing, to create your thing, to create a side thing. If you're working in a company and, you know, it's there's no time uh you, well in that it starts small it's that moonlighting business thing it's that ah moonlighting yes yes exactly a moonlighting business is you know you work nine to five but then five to nine you're doing your thing and and see how much of that you're going to be able to do yeah that's definitely you know, I'll, uh, after I used to knock off from my long day at the company or whatever, yeah, I would always be reading spiritual development books, astrology books, this, that. I mean, I was always building my side thing from, from like forever. <laughs> I don't know. All right, let's take a look and see what guidance comes from Chuck Spezzano, which is relationship advice. But, you know, as he says, like every issue in our life is a relationship problem. And yeah, I, at the heart of it. So if, you ha if it's a money problem, it, 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 it will be, uh, the heart of it will be, you know, it'll, you'll be able to solve it by solving relationship with mother or father or, or whatever that was. So yeah, let's take a look. Okay, it says here, when there are accidents and illness, we are communicating to significant people. When there is love and success, we are communicating to significant people. Yeah, that's beautiful. And this is about our creativity. You know, what are, what are we creating in our lives? Are we creating drama or are we creating solutions? Are we creating love? You know, we can, we can see this in that way. It's a really good quote here. Okay, and let's take a look at the next one. Do we have... Joining your partner is the answer. Would you make any ego agenda more important than loving your partner? Yeah, yeah, that's true. This is about putting love first, you know, and this could be a message of putting love first as opposed to putting work first. Okay, Venus in Virgo there. As I was saying, Venus in Virgo there, that is very much, uh, you know, people who have this, yeah, they, they might put work first. 
that, that's a classic you know um, the other thing is with Venus in Virgo you might attract in a partner who puts work first and they don't put you first that kind of thing but and if let's say for example you're single and there's no one in your life or whatever it's like put you first you know rest um, I was telling this to one of my clients recently actually I've told this to like two or three clients already this week which is because this is one thing I figured out like sometimes we need to make rest a to-do list on our to-do task <laughs> we actually have to say to ourselves okay now do rest as a task because sometimes it can be hard to rest and especially if you're a creative person you know it can be really hard to rest why because our minds are always working our minds are always being creative so when do you actually switch off you know when do you actually just stop completely do you stop completely yeah you know, it's interesting a lot of all of that has come up in this reading uh, there is a little bit of a message of yeah take care of the physical body um, as well okay so this could be like cleaning up the diet it could be rest it could be you know time out from work things are hectic at work you might not be able to shine but part of you probably is shining and that might be irritating people it's possible <laughs> but I think you're doing really good group number one let me know how this reading resonated in the comments below I would love to hear from you and I look forward to seeing you next time hi there group number two if you chose group number two then you are in the right place before we draw these we're gonna take all right now we're gonna ask Venus what do you want us to know what do you have to tell us today Venus all right let's see oh oh well, that clearly wants to be here so I'll take it and we'll take one of these I hope you're having a good week wherever you are group number two. Oh, in group number two as well I just wanted to say the master's episode is done and I am editing it because yeah there's a friend of mine in group two who's been massively supportive um, and long time ago we're talking like probably months ago now she was so kind she even sent a donation for the next master's episode and I've Oh, it's taken me so long to do it like it's just I don't know why but yeah it has taken a while and but I want to get back to making them and I want to make like short ones where I don't speak too long because I have been experimenting with the format of those and you know not um, not creating anything too long but today's one is yeah it's, it's a long one <laughs> kind of it's a bit indulgent it's really not doesn't have too much astrology in there I was just having fun <laughs> It's my place where I don't have fun because nobody, nobody's watching. <laughs> All right. Um, one of these, animal spirit. And animal spirit, why? Because Venus is about self-worth, is about how you feel inside. And I thought we could kind of gauge that maybe by looking at an animal. All right. And let's take one of these. So what does Venus want you to know? Right. Okay. Where do we begin? Um... Let's, let's go here. Let's go with the middle. Oh, this is so nice. Look at that. Daisy, innocence. I love it. I love the color. Wow. It's very like wisteria colored as well. Daisy, innocence. Let's take a look at the... yeah innocence it's amazing that and this jar is full of Chuck Spitzer and that's pretty incredible because he uh, does talk refer to innocence a lot in his work um, okay innocence wild daisies bloom without tending yeah you have been feeling too confined lately both by society's pressures and by what feels right for your age love that that's in quotation marks absolutely return to youthful freedom and naivete yeah beautiful nice exactly because we are ageless beings there's they're just numbers what do they mean all right let's take a look here so innocence oh the emperor aha okay and we've just read that quote about your age and we've got perhaps the most senior 
people in the deck come out here. Senior stature, you know, at the top. But there's an age here, like, there's never an, a youthful emperor, you know. But that's where modern witch tarot is quite cool because they do depict it as a youthful person, which is quite fun. Why not? You know. All right, let's take a look at this. Ooh, scorpion. Right. So how are we feeling? Well, scorpion. Well, straight away, I am getting transformation. There's a sting in the tail there. But this is about you transforming something. Not the cuddliest of creatures, <laughs> you know. And neither is he, right? So this is quite interesting, but look at the middle. We've got innocence here, you know, and that's soft and cuddly and childhood and all that beautiful stuff. So it's a beautiful contrast coming through already. Okay. Oh, the Empress. Well, fantastic. This is an interesting reading. Really interesting energies here. And I'm really curious to see. So we've kind of got contrast, 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 contrast. Like it'll be interesting to see what this is. What what's given here? Okay, Venus in the fifth house. Yeah, I mean this is quite feminine and lovely. Glitz and glamour. Yeah, this reminds me of Elizabeth Taylor. Enjoys fine things. Must follow passion or do work that is creative. Stock market entertainment marries for love. This is also an excellence with numbers as well. I'm pretty sure um, Trinivasa Ramanujan has this and it was very well placed. Okay, interesting. I've got some contrasts here. Hmm, it's kind of like zeros and ones. <laughs> um, let's shuffle. What guidance? Why, why do we have... Why is the Emperor here? I think that's... He's the most interesting one here for me so far. Let's see. Clarification on the Emperor. What, what's this about? sword sorrow yeah we do have some heartbreak here and this is so straight away it's like you're not guilty they are not guilty there's no guilt it's like the transformation here and what you will do I should get some more information but yeah um, so I'm getting like a So, so, some guilt here there's some and the transformation is transforming that into innocence in, into recognizing that it's all okay ultimately I do see you as this empress character here and you are there's quite mm, an incredible part of you that is that just is and that is you're resonating at your uh, best frequency kind of thing. You're, you're solid, you're unmovable, you're unshakable. The outside world isn't mm, bothering you too much. You're connected. But then there's something in your world where there's been some challenge, something that has created or caused guilt. Let's see. Let's ask about this. What's what 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 is the guilt in connection with? And I'm getting like restoration of innocence, but let's see guilt. What what's what is there guilt? Any guidance on this type of line of questioning? Three of Wands vision. Okay. Mm. 
right. Let's see. And I'm, yeah, and I'm getting that you can see. What can you see? Ten of Cups. Wow, how many? Right, okay. You can see what could have been, right? Yeah, I mean... And maybe you are, mm, yeah, because this is also Venus in the fifth. This is like, this is children, this is family, this is, and, and like you've got the vision of, it's like, well, we can make something so amazing, you know? And yet there's this heartbreak and possibly guilt, okay? Uh, I do kind of want to go back here. Any more information on this? Death. Wow. Well, a cycle is ended. Okay. And when a cycle ends, the difficult stuff, it does come up to the surface. For transformation to be transformed into innocence beauty there's something about this situation that could fuel your art let's have a look transformation what are you transforming it's being transformed what are you transforming scorpion why is a scorpion here Yeah, that has come through. Okay, I was almost about to change decks. <gasps> wow, Queen of Discs, Nurture. And I asked, what are you transforming? And we've got this here, Venus in the fifth. Something transforming in your relationship with your children um, and we do have quite a few parents in the audience we do have and that's why the empress is here as well something transforming in your relationship with your children wow okay it's kind of like, I feel like you can see the future for this person or your child or your children or wh whoever this is, but there's like, there's something that hasn't gone right here. And this is, there is like an ego death that has happened or something, there's been some ego thing that's happened here. And I feel that like these are you and they're really in good shape, like you're in good shape. But this is kind of something that's happening in the outer world. This is quite a very specific group this time, guys, if, if you don't relate, then, you know, um, that's fine. Let's take one from here. Any more guidance about this situation? Any more guidance? Okay, take this. Yeah, Saturn in the third. Becomes own boss, comprehension, slow pace, steady, friendships and relationship with father restricted, success after disappointments. Yeah, it's like there's just been some karma to move through. And um, one of the things about this placement, Saturn in the third, is it's like somebody can't take in um the information okay it's like you've probably got all this great guidance and wisdom and advice and all the vision of the future and it could be like this and here's what you need to do right this is a doing area as well so there's a doing area so you probably but like this person can't take this thing in something like that is what's happening here really interesting i'd love to know uh group two 
how this how this lands it's it's very specific this one but I feel like you're in good shape I, like I don't feel any but it's something happening in your world and you're just having to deal with it and and restore innocence restore people to an original state or you know hey this thing that's not you this is illusion right so I think you're doing great and I think you're holding a vision or dream as well on behalf of people as well right that's amazing so keep doing what you're doing okay we'll take this and this and let's see what Chuck Spezzano has to say we'll go this one seems bigger let's take that You have the power if you choose the right path. The ego only wants domination. That is so amazing. We've got the emperor there. The ego only wants domination, which will include someone dominating you sooner or later. There is a better way. Find what you can give and give it. Yeah, and you know the better way. You can see the better way. You're holding the vision of the beauty of what can be. And yet there is this ego domination thing a little bit uh, here and I, I sort of want to say in the way but I don't think there's anything in the way this might just um, I'm getting the word you have become stagnant or something but you've got a huge amount the feminine energy here is sensational and we're, we're dealing with Venus today what message does Venus have for you and remember Venus and Moon these are the two female energies of the nine in the planetary cabinet imagine we've only got two representing female energy imagine how powerful these two are and that's why the feminine has been suppressed throughout history right let's take a look at what's in here and, you know, I know in Vedic astrology, it's like they are he, like the gods that represent Venus and Moon, they are he. I know that. But like Western astrology has brought such a wealth to the world in that they class them as she. And I love that because we need, you know, feminine has to be represented, right? Okay. Because it's so beautiful. Such beautiful energy. All right. The ego, of course, builds itself on bad relationships and bad endings, reveling in victim or victimizer positions. Mm hmm. Okay. So this is giving us some more clue as to what's happening here. Three of Swords, Emperor, Death card. And of course, this slowness, this I don't want to do anything, you know, <laughs> like, yeah. Let's see, I just want to get, we'll take one more, a little piece of extra guidance, just see if there's any. Okay, I got this one, just pulled it out and let's see together what this is. See if there's any more. The ego does not want us to see that the problem is so easily solved. It hides our gifts from us, but only with our permission. Wow. So it's kind of like this person is colluding with ego, you know, and, and, and yeah, I'm getting the phrase maintaining the status quo or something like this. I don't know. Any final guidance? I kind of feel like I'm not complete here. I just want to have maybe one more card from somewhere. Uh, we'll take it from, oh, we'll take it from here. Any final guidance just to wrap up this reading? One final message, one final something. What does Venus want us to know? Oh, we'll take it. All right, yeah, there we go. Well, so I feel like you are the balanced person in the middle and just keep maintaining your position, right? Your position of ensuring equality and justice and i said this in a reading earlier today what was it it was something about you know justice we don't actually find justice in the outer world i've looked for a lot and i keep coming up with all these unfair things i keep seeing all these unfair things in the outside world but justice as a concept does exist and what i've come to with the concept of justice is that 
because we've got the weighing scales here. What I've come to with the concept of justice is that that is something that we deliver, that comes through us. We make justice happen in the world. If you're looking for justice in the outside world, it's going to be tough to find. There's not a lot of it out there. It's very hard to find. But justice is a real thing because it's something we can do, we can bring. If we see something's wrong, we can correct it. We can do something about it. You can only do your best. You can only do what you can do. If this person doesn't want to come to the party or doesn't want to, you know, whoever they are or whatever this is, uh, that's okay. let them be free to be themselves. They will evolve in their own time. But you, and this is, yeah, this can be a bit of a time thing. It's like you be the good person that you're being and be good to yourself as well don't forget yourself as well so that is the final guidance in this spread all right well i hope this has been a good reading for you group number two let me know in the comments below and i look forward to seeing you next time hi there group number three if you chose group number three then you are in the right place now before we take any of these we will start here with this what does venus want to say to you oh i'm just realizing i'm wearing the wrong color today i'm wearing yellow i should have worn pink oh well doesn't matter or even i don't have a white jumper here i have one in england but i'm very limited on wardrobe here it's gonna be nice to wear different clothes when i get back so funny I've proven to myself that I don't need stuff. How about that? I can be away a long time. Okay, let's take, so, um, that's that. We'll take one of these. I hope your week is going good wherever you are. I hope you're getting a chance to rest and relax. Group number three, isn't that so important? Life is so busy. We're all doing so many things. Um, Okay, so we've done that. We'll take one of these. And it's always nice to chill out with a pick a card reading. I, I watched one the other day. Who did I watch? Diva Malik. She came back after a long absence. And the first one I tuned into her, she says, it's something about, oh, how do people see you or who are you or something? And I got, she said, you're terrifying. I was like, wow, okay. And she goes, and healing <laughs> she's cracking up laughing it was so funny i really enjoy her work um okay so there's one more well there's what venus has to say obviously but i thought yeah look at that terrifying and healing what a combo i hope that's well i don't know maybe that is what i'm going for i don't know <laughs> all right let's just take that one there we go now what else what else have we got going on oh yes the animal yeah because see animals it's like how we feel oh nightingale all right let's take it did i not do one of these for the previous group no i think i did i've just forgotten what it is oh yeah no i did okay well nightingale it really wanted to be here so that's beautiful okay so great love it what am i getting here i know this is a very um yeah, there's a lot of symbolism here with the nightingale. I'm not too familiar with what that is. It's a very beautiful bird, though. Does it have something to do with healing? I'm not sure. Let's keep going. Ooh. Renun renunculus, renunculus, dazzling charm. Nice. Love the blue and the gold. Great colors. You know that Saturn and the sun. These are good colors for entrepreneurship. Building something, creating something, creating something from nothing. Is how I always see those two colors. But let's see what we've got here. Renunculus, dazzling charm. Uh, Okay. Dazzling charm, charisma. You are magical right now. Nice. Good. Okay. Excellent. What do we have here? Oh, the hermit. Okay. Good idea to, to take a bit of time out. I think I did say that in your intro as I was shuffling that hope you're getting time to rest. Seems like you need time out. 
Time to be on your own, to process life, the world, what you've been through, all that. Oh wow, Ten of Swords. This is a very dramatic one as well, isn't it? Jeez, it's like coming in from his front. Normally it's someone's back. Wow, okay. That's full on. We'll explore that. No wonder the Hermit turned up. Right. Venus in the Eighth. Okay, some drama here. The focus is wealthy, lives a life of comfort, early disappointments in love, secret love affairs, discontinuity in relationships. Wow, family support. Okay. Could be some form of heartbreak here. Or someone that you don't want to talk to. But then we've got this beautiful bird here singing like its song. Yes, little songbird. This bird singing its song kind of thing. Maybe wondering if someone will hear the song. I don't know, but maybe maybe this maybe this bird doesn't want anyone to hear the song. Maybe they don't care. Oh, this is interesting. Let's take a look. All right, so I think I want to go. Hmm. Yeah, let's go here. Let's start with the songbird, the little songbird. Is she singing to someone? Does she want people to hear? Maybe she doesn't want people to hear. Maybe she wants to be able to sing her song and that it doesn't mean anything to anyone. Wow, okay. She wants to sing her song, but she doesn't want it to mean anything to anyone because look at that. She's alone. She's happy being isolated. She doesn't want, it's like, doesn't want attention, doesn't want fame doesn't want but wants to sing the song and be creative this is venus in a hidden house venus doesn't want to be seen so there's something in the message here that you don't want to be seen and yet you want to be creative because we've got this creativity this entrepreneur type energy this dark blue gold this i want to birth something i want to create something i want to do my art but i don't want to be seen and why don't you want to be seen because well maybe you're afraid of this yeah this is all very much making sense to me It's like you're afraid. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, let's take a look at the nightingale. She wants to sing a song. What's the song about? What are you singing about? What's your creativity? Whoa, Eight of Cups. Interesting. Gosh, and we've got the similar colors as well. We've got this kind of light blue type thing going on. Again, this is, this is walking away. This very eighth house, this is, maybe you want to make art about something that didn't work out in the past, but you're worried about like, um, yeah, I just got the word like being attacked. Wow, okay, but like that it not going down well, or, and, and, and people taking your art personally and this kind of thing, okay. Uh, let's see. What are you worried about? What What is this? It's like you're worried about this incoming thing. What are you worried about? And you know, there's honesty here in this card because the swords have come in th to the front, right? So that's, that's actually a good thing. Why is the Ten of Swords here? What is this? Why is the Ten of Swords here? Well, get out. No way. We've got Ten of Swords again. Do you know what? It was funny because just today I was thinking about the mathematics behind these readings and how fascinating that is. And I do want to eventually explore that one day because the probability of like drawing two cards, same from a different deck. It's pretty amazing. Um, Ten of Swords again. But this is a very, this is a gentler card. Okay, let's, let's find out some more. All right, so we've really, okay. Four of wands. The happy home, the dream home, the dream life. Let's put that up here. 
So do you see that this is what you want to create? Why Ten of Swords twice? Four of Cups. Boredom. Hmm. Yeah, this is an interesting observation. Okay, let's. Uh, so I've got here like you not hearing from someone could be, like, not good. You do, you don't. Yeah, you want to hear from someone type thing. Could be not good for you. Okay. It's like there's a lull. There's this quiet lull type energy, and there's not much happening in your world is also what I'm getting. But I think you like that. Maybe you're worried that someone is bored of you. What are you creating? Let's ask specifically, are you making something? Are you being creative? What are you creating? What are you making? And this is all to do with Venus. So this is a message of the heart. This is, and especially for you guys, you've got Venus in the eighth, and that is partner. You know, Venus in the seventh and eighth, that's love, that's partner, that's the person you're married to, it's the person that you really care about. But let's have a look. What are you creating? Are you creating something? We've got this blue and gold. We've got this dazzling charm what's the dazzling charm about whoa the lovers wow do you know i feel like it's like when you're in relationship maybe you're more creative or like yeah it's like this thing of a muse and it's like you get that muse you get that thing from that one person it's like for some reason it's when you're with that person that you're more creative or you get ideas or you feel inspired or, but it's kind of like there's a 10 of swords thing here in that yeah, maybe, maybe you don't see them or maybe, I don't know. Let's go back to that. We will go back to that. Why, why 10 of swords twice? What is the ten? Why is the ten of swords here? And okay, I think this is to do with a muse, a lover, someone you care about, someone you 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 like them or you wanted something with them, but then they're reticent, they're bored, they don't care, you, they never talk to you, something like this. Why the ten of swords twice? I am none the wiser. Do you know what? Let's get a let's let's get a planet. <laughs> We need a planet for this one. Why the Ten of Swords twice? Jyotisha, tell us why the Ten of Swords twice. Oh, oh, okay, all right. Uh, there was one that was poking out and I liked it, but then these just... All right, let's see. Sun in the Eighth. Okay, so clearly we've got some eighth kind of activity here. Charming speaker. Charm is twice. And we've got that gold color as well. We've got the sun here. If afflicted might be disgruntled. Eyes are weak. Money may be tight. We'll have few children, mostly male. Okay. Um, oh, sun again. Sun in the fourth. Inherits wealth. Prone to worry. Interested in occult and philosophy. Clashes with authority and or father. Roams. Can't find comfort. All right. Well, this is to do with... This is to do with a prominent male in your life. Masculine. We've got masculine energy twice. This is the sun. This is the highest... Uh, this is the best of the masculine energies in the planetary cabinet, right? This is the king. So, and twice now the king is hidden, right? So we've got the king here in the eighth. We've got king in the fourth. We've got the relationship is hidden, okay? Whatever this is. So we've got the relationship hidden. We've got the uh, hidden king here. Um, it's pretty amazing. 
And what? He's absent. I think that's what this Ten of Swords is about. He's not here. He's hidden. There's some prominent male authority figure in your life who's hidden or not here. Okay. Wow. I'm enjoying this reading a lot, Group 3. I think it's pretty amazing. Beautiful energy, but there's like a, there's such a lull. There's such a like, um, you know, you're, you're in a valley or something. There's a real lull of energy. And it's, but that's not, you can rest in that. You know, sometimes it's good to get this Four of Cups boredom cards. I mean, gosh, when do, we, when do we recharge in life? You know, when do we rest? When do we just do nothing? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Let's see what Chuck Spezzano has to say. This has been fascinating. Wow. And two sun cards as well. I mean, I shuffle these really well. The, that, that, that deck is so shuffled that it's incredible. Okay, do not be afraid of any negative feeling. That is just what needs to be healed. If you feel the emotion but keep moving toward love, you will succeed and your heart will grow. Yeah. Yeah, so don't be afraid of anything. Don't be afraid of... All right, for a time in your life, there is no strong masculine energy. It's okay. Maybe that's what's meant to be for a time, you know. And if you want to swap that out with with a feminine energy, but that, I mean that, that that is a masculine energy there. Like I do have to, yeah. But equally, change the cards to apply to your situation. You know, as you as you see them, you you guys are very good at interpreting. Uh, okay, the ego turns us towards specialness, which is making a relationship all about us by making demands or being wounded. There are ways we have of trying to take something yeah and I, I understand this but I, I don't see that you're necessarily wanting to take something here what I kind of see is that you you're wanting to build something is what I'm seeing but I, I appreciate this for sure the ego turns us towards specialness yeah and I mean I suppose this is the thing you have to be careful that you don't want if you're singing a song or being creative or something like that you don't want that song to come across as like oh I'm manipulating you to come and be with me or no I, I and this is why I think the hermit is here it's like, I think you're happy to be alone as well I think you're um and if you do put out art it's not like you want that person to come into your life or something or no you, you just want to be creative because you like being creative I do get a vibe of that you know how to walk away look at that we've got this card here I mean you know, that is, you know how to walk away, you're content to be on your own, you're content to do your creativity, and, you know, that's, that's what I'm seeing there. Let's take another one. <laughs> I'm being greedy today. I think group, group one missed out. The group one only got two, I think. Oh, this is a little one, so this might be, this might be some punchy little line that we need to finish this off. Let's see. Whatever you punish another for hides an area you are feeling guilty about. Oh, interesting. It's interesting. Uh, guilt has come up here. Um, we did talk about guilt in group two. But whatever you punish another for hides an area you feel guilty about. Yeah, that's true very often. Projection, right? Um, that is the case. Whatever you punish another for hides an area you are feeling guilty about. Perhaps, I mean, maybe if this was a relationship situation, like a lover's type thing and with a masculine and like, but then they went away or they never communicate or whatever like that is, right? Maybe that is, um, maybe you needed to speak up more. Or you needed to be more forthcoming or sing your song or, you know, you didn't do enough type thing. But... 
I'm not so sure about that. It's an interesting energy here. Let's just get let's get one card for guidance. I did that with group two and I quite enjoyed it. Let's see what happens here. So we just want one. What is the guidance for group number three? If 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 we need to be left with one little thing just to sum this up, what would that be? If there's some little bit of guidance to come through. Let's take that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well yeah. I think this is just that you're a loving being and keep being that and keep mm, filling up your cup of love. It'll spill over and this lull is just going to transform because you're building up your self-love, your cup. You are being loving, singing your song. You're not wanting anything from anyone. You're not trying to manipulate anyone. You're not trying to ask for anything. You don't want anything. You just want to be loving. You want to be creative. You don't want that to offend anyone. Oh gosh, I go through this all the time. And that bird just spoke up then. Yeah, this is interesting. This is before today, I was thinking about how like with my latest master's episode, like, and I go through all these things in my head, like, I don't want to offend anyone. Am I going to upset anyone? Am I going to trigger anyone? Because when I launch videos, sometimes like, it's just a, the most amazing thing to me. The most benign and boring things that I say sometimes can be just so triggering. And I don't want to do that. Like, and I feel that with you here. I feel like you, you don't want to do that. You just want to be loving. You just want to, you know, you don't want to trigger anyone or upset anyone. Or, but at the same time, you want to talk about things. You want to be real. You want to, you know, be who you are. So, yeah. Do not be afraid of any negative feeling. And I would say sing your song. Do not be afraid of any negative criticism or any... Be creative. Be you. You know, and this is beautiful. This as it is, is beautiful. You know, the life isn't just about the Ten of Cups all the time or the Ten of Pentacles. No, this is beautiful. This lull and this you know, whatever this thing is here, right? That line there, I mean, that's, whoa. You know, that's all good. It's all part of life. These are all important experiences. And nothing goes to waste. No experience ever goes to waste. It is all used. It's all necessary. Uh, it's all, it's all good. And it all leads us back to love. Look at that. We've been we've gone through this whole journey with all these cards and where have we been led? We've been led to love. That you be loving and everything's gonna turn out fine. That's what the guidance is here today, group three. So I hope this has been a good reading for you. Let me know how you got on in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you and I look forward to seeing you next time.